My name is Dimity Azuri. I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. My favourite choreographer, Yuri Killian, said, it's as if you're standing on the edge of a dream and when you open your eyes, that dream has become part of your reality. I don't remember the first time I saw my first ballet performance. I just remember these vague, dreamlike images of these girls in long white dresses floating across the stage. Something we all love is to be pushed and to have to mould ourselves and to be put out of our comfort zones. And that's what keeps it alive. When you open your eyes on stage and you can feel all these thousands of eyes looking at you, you feel very vulnerable, but at the same time you feel these heightened sense of emotions, joy, love, ecstasy, grief, anger. The two aspects of dance that I love the most are its emotive quality and also the pure joy of being physical. The quiet sense of achievement that you get when you finally achieve that triple pirouette or fifth position. I want to be able to take the audience on a journey and have them experience what I do on stage. I was not expecting to be nominated for the Telstra Ballet Dancer Award. This is my second nomination and it feels even more special to me. My name is Dimity Azuri. I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. My name is Imogen Chapman and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. You can feel the energy on the other side of the curtain. The audience are just waiting for you in anticipation. And it's that first step, that first move you do, it's just exhilarating. I don't remember a time when I wasn't completely obsessed with it. I started when I was three and it's sort of always been in my life. As a dancer, you're always striving for perfection. So when you hit those moments and you can tell that they were the right thing at the right time, it feels awesome. When I was 15, I moved to London. I was away from my family and I never had been away from my mum and my sister before, so that was incredibly tough. I also developed some injuries in my ankles and I had two foot operations. There were many moments when I thought that I wouldn't dance again. I just want to make sure that I give everything to this beautiful art form. My name is Imogen Chapman and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. My name is Cristiano Martino and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. I go over what I'm about to do before I go on and then I just breathe. I grew up in Adelaide with my mum and my older sister. 
My mum always told me if you love it and it's something you want to do, be proud of it. The moment I knew I really wanted to do ballet was when I went and saw the company do a double bill called Paris Match in Melbourne. When a lot of people think about ballet, they think, you know, tutu, ballerina, point shoes. It can be soft and beautiful and elegant, but it can be sexy and rough and defined. You've got to pull it from somewhere to get out there and give the best show that you can. My first performance with the company was before I knew I had a job. One of the company members got injured and I ended up being put in the 50th gala. I really appreciate the opportunity to be part of such a wonderful company. It means a lot to think that your peers see potential in you. I hope when I'm out there, people see someone who really loves every second of it. My name is Cristiano Martino, and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. I'm Rina Nemoto. I'm Telstra Ballet Dancers Award nominee. Dancing is the same as walking, eating. It's my life and I need it. I growing up in Tokyo. I decided to go to ballet school in France when I was 15. First time I saw the ballet. Costume is beautiful and lighting is everything amazing. I love being a ballet dancer. It's not easy practicing every day. We are doing eight performances per week. Sometimes I go special moment on the stage. I feel free and also I feel we are all connecting. my family. Sometimes they coming to watch. I was dancing for them. They are very proud of me. In the future, the Australian ballet will be bigger than bigger because everyone loves ballet. When I find nominated Telstra Ballet Dancers Award, I'm very surprised. Also, I'm very, very happy. It's very special. I'm Rina Nemoto. I'm Telstra Ballet Dancers Award nominee. My name is Jade Wood and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. When the light first hits you on stage, it takes you a second to adjust your eyes. And then for the rest of the performance, you're getting used to the bright lights of the stage and the darkness out in the audience. I was born in Cairns in tropical North Queensland and I grew up where it's pretty hot. I didn't really discover ballet. Ballet kind of discovered me. My whole family moved to Melbourne so I could attend the Australian Ballet School and support me along that journey. To have your dream supported by other people really gives you the confidence in yourself and what you're pushing for. Ballet is both physically and mentally challenging. 
I love dancing ballet because I love the challenge. When I get out there, I dance for myself. I really chase the satisfaction of the performance finishing and knowing that I'm getting better each time. Every day is a new journey of discovery, whether it be the steps, the emotions, your body itself. I think the Telstra Ballet Dancer Award is important because it encourages young emerging dancers to grow some confidence and to really reach for their goals. My name is Jade Wood and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. My name is Ingrid Gao and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee. From the moment the curtain goes up, there's a distinct feeling of energy surrounding you. I feel like the audience can only really imagine what we put ourselves through and what we have to go through to get to that moment that they see when the curtain goes up. That moment when you're on stage and all of that preparation is worth it. Ballet is, I think, the most beautiful art form. The most joy that I feel when performing is those moments where you forget about the steps and the choreography and you're so completely involved working as hard as you can and putting all of the elements together to create the beautiful artwork that you see on the stage. Ballet is about self-expression, to be able to show a part of myself to the audience. To really give a great show, you have to give all of yourself. And there's a feeling of being completely immersed in the whole production. When I heard I was nominated, I was absolutely shocked. I thought that it just was never going to happen for me. My name is Ingrid Gao, and I'm a Telstra Ballet Dancer Award nominee.